We're here at the USA Science and Engineering Festival on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. And I'm with Larry Bach, the founder of the festival. And I understand they have not given you a walkie-talkie yet today. Yeah, they just don't want me micromanaging the situation. Well, this is an absolutely incredible festival. We're here on site. We can hear things going on behind us. So why, why start this festival? Uh, so I spent most of my career as an entrepreneur. I started up uh, 45 high-tech and life science companies, and I could not recruit Americans to these positions anymore because they just were not going into the fields. The notion of these festivals is society gets what it celebrates. So if we celebrate science and engineering, we will generate more scientists and engineers. Here on the National Mall, we're taking over an incredible venue. We're on the National Mall from the Capitol to halfway to the Washington Monument, then on Pennsylvania Avenue between 12th and 14th Street, Freedom Plaza, Wilson Plaza, Mellon Auditorium. And on that expanse, we have 1,500 hands-on interactive activities and over 75 stage shows. How, how is it that students are going to engage with all of these things? Is it, is it hands-on? Is it, is it just watch it? How are people going to be able to interact? This is entirely hands-on interactive. This is not a science fair poster session. Every single activity that's involved here, the, the attendee actually gets to do it. So at the same time as we're having this event here on the National Mall, there are also over 75 satellite events going on throughout the country. Uh, we have events of equal size to this in areas such as Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, Clifton, Clinton, New Jersey, uh, Austin, Texas, Portland, Oregon, uh, Berkeley, California, and many, many other places. What kind of support have you seen from sponsors and schools to help support this event? Uh, we've had just incredible support first from sponsors. We have over 100 corporate partners, uh, including engineering.com, who's been instrumental in helping us get the word out there. Uh, but then we also have major sponsors, including Lockheed Martin, the Science Channel, Life Technologies, and KNL Gates, uh, and 50 other. Uh, I'm sorry, 100 others. So, uh, and we've had great response from the schools. So we've been in over 400 schools over the last month uh, with bringing scientists and engineers into the schools to build up momentum for the festival. Why is math, science, and engineering education so important for this rising generation? Well, so the reason I got involved in this is, because, as I mentioned, because I could not recruit Americans to these advanced science positions. And I fundamentally believe if we don't reinvigorate the interests of our young people in the sciences and engineering, we will have outsourced innovation. And once you've outsourced innovation, the game is over. What do you hope happens as a result of people attending this festival and the festivals around the country? So the first thing I hope happens is that people realize that we need to come together once a year to celebrate science and engineering. Uh, in the past, we had things like the World's Fair, and the number of leading scientists that will trace back their spark of interest in science or engineering to the World's Fair is amazing. And I hope that we will look back and people say, gee, it was at the USA Science and Engineering Festival that I first got the idea to do this.